Hey there, everybody. Uh, welcome to a quick iScore tutorial um, on how to set up a game. Now, excuse the board. It's a little bit messy because I am in the middle of uh, setting up a game. So I have all my cards out and all, all that set up, and I'm going to show you how to do it here on iScore. It's a free app. It keeps all your stats, so as you play, you don't have to worry uh, about what's going on. Now, excuse the washed out view of all the cards around the board. We're not looking at those. We're just going to look at the the uh, 9.8 inch iPad and look at iScore. This is the main menu that you get when you get to the game. Now, this is not setting up a league, but this is once you have your league set up, this is how to set up a game uh, fairly quickly. This is how I do it in case you do it a little bit differently. This is how I do it. So you have uh, six choices. You have game manager, team manager, player manager, league manager, options, and tutorial. I go directly to game manager. All right, I'm going to basically, I have already all my, these are the games I've played in the past. They're listed here. So I can go back to any game in the past and look at it again. Like I just had a great game. The Mets won seven to three. I can go back there and I can check that out. Uh, it was an eighth inning, top of the eighth inning home run by Todd, the Todd father, Frazier. That put the Mets up by a score of five to three, and then later in the in the top of the ninth, it was a two run homer by uh, Pete Alonso to put them up seven to three. Chris Flexen came in in the bottom of the ninth, and he uh, registered the, the three outs for the Met victory. So uh, let's add a game. Let's the next. This is the last game of four game set, right? And I'm going to put in the visitor. It says visitor. Now I already inputted all my my teams through League Manager. That's the first thing you would do if you're setting up a league, but this is not a tutorial about setting up a league. So the, the up here, it's going to say create. I, I don't know. I, I doubt that you can see it. Uh, it says create new league. Let me try to get a little bit closer. And, oh, that's not what I wanted to happen. I'm sorry there. There you go. All right. Let me see if I get a little bit closer and we can see what's going on a little bit better. I don't know if that's better. Um Oh, maybe it is. Okay, so you can see that. Create uh, create a new game. So let's click on that. Oh, it's already set up there. Create a new game. So, uh, and I came from this. I'll go back. And I just add game. You see on the right, it says add game right there. All right, there again. So now you get visitor and home. So I click on visitor. I already have all my teams put in through league manager. Uh, you know, I put them in one at a time. As the Mets face a team, I write that team in. Um, and let me get, let me see if I can, hold on a second. Let me try to get the, uh, all the finger marks off the, the screen, so it's just a little bit more pleasant to look at. I did not bother to do that, but the you know natural oils of the the human skin get on this the more you tap it. All right, so all right, so I think it's a little bit better. I don't know what happened there; it got freaked out on me. Ah, there it is. Okay, so we're back. We're going to input New York as the visiting team. I just did that, and I click on the home team. It takes me to the list of teams. I scroll, I find Philadelphia because the Mets are in Philadelphia. They're playing the Phillies at Citizens Bank Park. Uh, by the way, I'm using uh, Deep Drive Baseball. What a blast. If you like APA, if you like Strat, it's got a little APA, it's got a little Strat, and then it's got a little Status Pro if you like Status Pro. So this is a game that is basically uh, undiscovered, and I'm trying to expose it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's, it includes every single player, and it's $12 PDF. You can print it out. Once you beat up the cards, you throw them out, and you reprint a new one. It's great. So uh, and you always have new cards that way. You know, you don't have to worry about, oh, and you can write on the cards. I've written on some cards. You can do whatever you want. They're your cards, and you can make up new ones when, you, when you're done with these. Throw them out and start with fresh. So anyway, by the way, the 2019 season was available the day after the World Series. All right, that said, okay, I got my game here now. So I'm not going to add another game, but I'm going to go with this arrow, and I'm going to click into the next screen, and it takes me to score the game. Right, This is all about the stats, but there's no stats yet because I haven't played the game. So I'm going to score the game. That automatically, automatically takes me to the lineups. So I'm going to go into baseball reference. And I may or may not have it up because, yeah, I have a lot of stuff up because I'm playing a lot of different seasons. And I just, I think I over, when I pulled up, um, when I pulled up YouTube to do this tutorial, I overrided that. All right, and then I'm going to scroll down to whatever game I'm in. There it is. Baseball reference. I use baseball reference there. They're probably the best. 
at this. Uh, I'm going to look for the game that they're up to. I think it's about game 40 some odd game. Uh, I can check that here as well. Let me see. I do not. What was it? Oh, no, it was game 78, 79. Let's see. Ah. Uh, Eflin, Arietta. Ah, all right. It's going to be Hammer. Hammer versus – oh, no, it's not Hammer. Hold on. Let me go to box score. This is June 20, Thursday, June 27th. This is a four-game set versus the Phillies. And it's going to be Zach Wheeler, and I'm going to scroll down. It gives you the starting lineups, not the box score. I don't want to look at that right now. just want to look at – later I'll look at the box score for, for subs and for relief pitchers to make sure they're on the roster. But I already separated that. Before I start a four-game set, I go through all the games and I pull out all the pitchers and all the pinch hitters. So I have them set aside. So it's fast, fast, fast. Um, all right. So I, I pulled up the chart that shows the starting lineups. It's the You scroll down on baseball uh, reference. Once you get to the box score, you click on the box score. Then you scroll down. It takes you to – so the this is the home team. And McCutcheon has been out on an injury for a long time. So I'm going to pull him out. And he's been replaced by a guy named Scott Kingery, who's playing center field. So I'm going to just pull him up just like that. You saw how I did that. And I'm going to put – and then I click on the, the spot, the left, um, I guess, opening there, the, the window. And I'm going to put center field. And then I go to the right, and it's going to be batting. Yes, he's batting. There you go. So the next batter is Segura. Then it's Harper. Hoskins, Bruce would be next. Instead of Real Muto, what happens? Real Muto's out in this game. They're resting Real Muto. He played the first three games. They're resting him, and it's going to be Bruce there. We're going to leave Bruce there. Then it's Hernandez. Franco's been playing this whole series. And then it's going to be – it's not Arietta. He was, the I think, the pitcher for the, the first game. Uh, we're looking now. We're looking for Aaron Nola. He should be here because we played this team before. As I play the team, I add players as they bring in new players. Right? If the first time the Mets play the Phillies in the season, that's when I add nine players and only nine players. During the game, when I need a relief pitcher, I look and see who they are and I'll add it there. It just it's it's I like it that way. Uh, it's more convenient for me. Pitcher. Okay, and yes, you just tap on the box. The box on the left is the position. The box on the right is, is he batting or is he not batting? So now I'm missing the catcher because Real Muto is going to rest this game. And the catcher they're using is Andrew Knapp. I know I, I added him recently, so I know he's there. I'm just going to pull him up. There's three little bars on the right. You just click, push down on those three little bars and pull up uh, the player you want to where you want it. And you put in catcher, batting. Just click on that, and that's it. So their lineup should be good to go. Shouldn't be any problem. Let me just take a quick peek. Uh, yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this because Andrew McCutcheon is really out for a while. So I'm going to copy lineup. And this lineup is going to stay in place. And this is the lineup that they've used the four-game set. Now, it may, the next time I find I meet the Phillies, it may change. But if had I done this in the first game, it would have been – and I think I did. It would have been – it was pretty easy to just set up this lineup. Oh, I just tapped on something there. Wait a second. All right. I put Jay Bruce back in the fifth spot, and that's where he is. All right. So that's it for the Phillies. I hope that that seemed quick to you because, to me, I just made two or three changes. It didn't seem like very much. Now then, it's for the Mets, it's going to be McNeil, Alonzo, and then it's going to be Conforto and Frazier. Uh, Davis is not playing in this one, so we're going to tap on batting. No. Tap on left field. Out. So we're going to get Frazier and Conforto's batting third, Frazier's batting fourth. So we just switch them. And then it's going to be Dom Smith. He's going to be in left field. So we're going to left field batting. Yes. Uh, Conforto's going to be – he's played – oh, no, he's in right field again. He's played center for three games. So that means Ligaris or Gomez are going to be towards the end of this. Uh, Wilson Ramos, he's playing. Rosario's in his spot. And it's going to be Ligaris in that spot. And finally, it's not Zach – oh, it is Zach Wheeler. That's it. So Zach Wheeler was already in there from a previous game. Um, and you know what? I'm just going to copy this lineup just to keep it in there for next game because it may stay the same. So we've got McNeil, Alonzo, Conforto, Frazier, Smith, 
Ramos, Rosario, Ligaris, and that's it. Done. Okay, now it takes me to, this is a very cool screen. Let me go back to the uh, stream here, so in case anybody's there. All right, so uh, this is the screen that I'll be using in my game, and I love this aspect of it. You just click play. Here are the lineups that I just inputted. They're all there. And I'm going to click play, and that's it. I'm ready to roll. I am ready to roll. Now, another tutorial would be playing a game using uh, iScore. All right, remember, this is a free app. It costs you nothing. So it's worth it. It keeps all your stats. Uh, un unfortunately, it doesn't sim anything. That's the beauty of, of Replay Baseball, which is I use to si sim the whole league. So I have stats for everybody, and I have pennant races and the whole thing. This is just to learn the game. I'm using Deep Drive Baseball to kind of figure, you know, sense – how it, uh, how it does in terms of results and so on the first time I'm running through this. Then I'll get a, I'll buy another season and I'll use it on replay. If replay makes a replay PC game, uh, they're a really great game. And that sims the whole season, all the other teams, and you can input the cards and dice team that you're playing with. I really like that one. I feel comfortable with that one right now. So, And that's the way I've been doing it. But right now we're using iScore just to keep track of this one team. Now, I'm not going to go into the bells and whistles of this. I will show you one last thing. If you want to know what Jeff McNeil is doing, you tap on his name. There it goes. It pops up. So McNeil's batting 377 after 260 at bats. He's a monster. He's got 15 home runs. He's got 37 RBIs. So, I mean, he's been hitting, you know, uh, really like nobody I've seen for a while throughout a long period of, of the season. Uh, so he's doing great. He did bat 320, and he was batting pretty high up, you know, until the latter, the fourth, probably the, the the fourth quarter of the season, or the last quarter of the season. That's when his power numbers kicked in, and his batting average uh, uh, kind of lost a little bit. So that's the flying squirrel, Jeff McNeil. So you always have the stats right there for you. Um, and that's it. That's how you set up a game, and I'm ready to roll now, and I will do another tutorial on showing you how to play, how to use, right, uh, I, I score as you roll and so on and so forth. So I may do that next. And thanks for watching. I want to keep this short and sweet. This is uh, CP Cards and Dice. Remember, this is your home for all the great stuff that makes our hobby great, uh, tutorials and strategy and player profiles, history reviews, news, tips, chat, rants, unboxings, so much more. Uh, and your host, uh, CP, says I will see you soon. Take care.